Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Slideshows are a fun way to share your photos with others. You can add text, interesting transitions, and audio files to make a truly impressive presentation. The first step is to create a project file in the slideshow editor. In the organizer, select the pictures you want to add to your slideshow and click the Create button on the shortcuts bar. We've gone ahead and already selected our images from our vacation. Click Create, go down, and select Slideshow. Now when you do, that will launch the Slideshow Preferences dialog box where you can change the default options if you wish. That way, the next time you go to launch a slideshow, those options will already be in effect. Click OK when you're ready, and that will launch the slideshow editor that we see here. Now, in the slideshow editor, you have several optional effects that you can add to create your slideshow. As you make changes, you can use the control buttons under the preview window, this is the preview window right here, to play, pause, and view individual slides of the presentation. Here's play. It would start playing. And you can also pause it. You can go to the next slide and so forth. Now the buttons at the top of the window allow you to save a project right there, output the project, which we discuss in the next lesson, add media such as other photos or an audio file, add a blank slide, add text, or view in full screen preview. If you view it in full screen preview, when you're finished, you can just press the escape key on your keyboard to return to the editor. To add an audio file, select Add Media, and then Audio from Folder or Audio from File, depending on the version of Elements you're using. Navigate to that particular audio file and click on it to select it, and then click Open to add it. It's really that easy. To add a blank slide, select Add Blank Slide, or just Blank Slide if you're using version 7.0 or earlier. If you want to delete a slide, just choose the slide, go up to Edit, and select Delete from the menu bar. Or you can right-click on a slide and choose Delete Slide if you like, either way. To add text, click the Text button over in the Extras pane. This is the Extras pane over here. Here's the Text button. Then you just drag a selected font option out onto the slide over here. Then click the Edit Text button in the Properties pane below that and enter the text that you would like to appear there. When you're done, click OK. We'll go ahead and just delete that out for right now. Now if you have the proper microphone on your computer, such as in a headset, you can even add narration to your slideshow. Click that narration button, it looks like a little microphone. Then you click the record button, located right here, and it will record your audio. Then it turns into the stop button after you press it. You press that to stop, and you can advance to the next slide to add more narration, etc. Down in the properties pane, down here, you can change the background color of the presentation using the color picker by clicking on that. We've seen that many times now. You can also adjust the amount of time each slide will be displayed by using the transition duration drop-down located right here. And you can select from one of the preset transition durations or you can enter a value into the text box if you like. If you select Enable Pan and Zoom, you can elect to zoom and pan any of the slides during the presentation. Let's take a look at that. We'll select a slide, 
and to use this feature you click the enable pan and zoom checkbox right there and then click on the start thumbnail then you use the four corner handles that appear in the bounding box over in the preview window and you can also move it around if you like wherever you want to start that from like from right there then click the end thumbnail right there and use the resizing handles click and drag like that to decide where you want to zoom to now remember that you can watch your creation at any time by clicking the play button so we can click the play button and then you'll see what that feature does. Go ahead and stop it. You can change the order of the slides if you wish by using the slide order drop down just below the properties pane that's located right here. You can change it to date, oldest first, newest first, random, etc. Within the storyboard you'll see the slides separated by transitions which appear as small squares. That's what these squares are right here. Now normally a default transition of fade is applied. You can change the transition between any two slides or all of the slides if you wish. Click the right pointing arrow next to the transition icon. It's located right there. Kind of hard to see. And then you simply select from the choices here. You can even select none if you wish. But you have quite a few different choices. Now once a transition is applied, if you click apply to all up here at the top, elements will apply the transition to your entire slideshow. We'll click out of there. If you elected to add an audio file to your presentation, but the sound file length doesn't quite match the visual part of the presentation, you can check the fit slides to audio button to sync the two together. That's located right here or you can manually adjust the time by changing the duration of each slide's viewing using the down pointing arrows in the storyboard. Located under each slide, you would just click on that and change the duration to match your audio. After you've made your modifications and you're pleased with the results by viewing them in the editor, you save your project by clicking the Save Project button at the top of the editor type a name in the dialog box and click save. You can edit your presentation later or export it as we've talked about and we learn about in the upcoming lessons. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.